just saying, as Kevin saying that, uh, 20 days ago, a couple of days longer than that, maybe, we had a smooth running, beautiful machine. We had the greatest economy in the history of our country. We had the highest stock price we've ever seen. It went up, I think, 151 times during the course of the presidency. And then we got hit by the invisible enemy and we got hit hard. But it wasn't just us. It was 151 countries, I think, as of the as of this morning. Uh, and you call Germany and speak to Angela. She's in quarantine. And as you know, Boris was diagnosed that he's positive. And uh, all of the things that are happening, it's hard to believe what's uh, gone on just in a short period of time. And uh, because of the talent behind me and lots of other talent in government, what we've done, this is a big part of it, obviously, but not the biggest part. Uh, everybody's pulled together. Our nation's pulled together. The spirit is incredible. The people have pulled together more than anyone and better than anybody. And uh, they're doing really, really well. But just to think how life can change where you go 20 to 22 days ago, everything's perfect. We're looking forward. I'm saying, when are we going to hit 30,000? I want 30,000. That means more jobs and more everything. And then one day we get hit with this thing that nobody ever heard of before. Nobody ever even heard of before. And now we're fighting a different battle. But I really think in a fairly short period of time, because of what they've done and what everyone's done, I really think we're going to be uh, stronger than ever. And we'll be protected from a lot of this. A lot of the things, Anthony, that uh, we've done now, that we're doing now, are going to protect us in the future if this should happen again. From testing to uh, so many other, even even stockpiles, right? Vaccines. Yeah, the vaccines, hopefully, and uh, vaccines, cures, therapeutics, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, a lot of progress. And I think on that score, I think we're making a lot of progress on vaccines. We're making uh, perhaps a lot of progress on cures and therapeutics. We'll be letting you know. Anybody else have anything? Greg, please. Go ahead, folks. Um, I, I would just say I've never seen you shy away from a challenge. Uh, your leadership um, and your policies and this great team brought America this enormous economy. And guess what? You get to do it again. And this bill is the, the next step in that. And we can build back this economy with your leadership and, and with the health care team you've got here, too. We're doing the right thing for the American people, and they know that. I can tell you that from the ground. It's not easy. No, it's, it's not easy. We don't want to shelter in place as Americans. We want to be out, especially in the Northwest. Yeah. But we know we have to do this for the safety of our relatives and families and our community and our country. So thanks for your leadership Thank you and the great much. team you've assembled. Appreciate it very much. Yeah. Yes. On behalf of small businesses, their right, this year is over. I think that too. Thanks. I think we're going to have a tremendous rebound uh, at the end of the year, toward the end of the year. I think we're going to have a rebound like we have never seen before. Even now, it wants to rebound. You can see it and feel it. It wants to rebound so badly. And, uh, you know, we've had those really big, I guess the biggest ever stock market surge uh, two days ago. And yesterday was great. Uh, three biggest days of the history of the stock market. It wants to rebound so badly, but we have to get rid of the bug. We have to get rid of the, uh, the virus. Now, I'm going to sign this, and it's a great honor. $6.2 trillion. I've never signed anything with a T on it. I don't know if I can handle this one, Mitch. We can't chicken out at this point. I don't think so, huh? All right, thank you all. But I wanted that to be a nice signature. How's transportation, okay? We always talk about the supply chain. I do. It's really right. important. I do. This bill He's breaking the six-foot distance. I guess it doesn't apply to him, even though he says he's compliant. It's going to help the supply chain and the workers. Thank you very much. Anthony? Thank you. Thanks, Tony, very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. Bob Lighthizer, thank you very much. Bob was a little less involved in this. He's too busy making trade deals. Okay. Do you have one? Well, you definitely have to have one. Yeah. You're awesome. Thank you, everybody. So we're going to have a 5.30 news conference in the uh, same location. Seems to be doing quite well. 
and uh, we appreciate everything, and we really appreciate the fairness, at least from most of the press. We really do. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There was a rare moment of agreement today.